Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm doing a review on a product that's gotten a lot of hype on TikTok. So I ran out and got the product as soon as I saw all the commotion and I'm going to be reviewing that today. I'll be doing an application and a wear test. But first go grab your cup of coffee or your glass of wine and if you would consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell if you haven't done so already. All right you guys, let's just hop right into this. So the product I'm testing is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. Now it's a matte finish and it's a powder that, you know, acts as a foundation as well. And so to be honest with you, I'm not super excited about testing this product <laughs> because um, I do have mature skin that's textured, that's dry already. Um, powders tend to accentuate all of that. But, of course, like I said, I have to try it. You know, you hear all the hype. You do have to take in consideration the person's skin type, the person's uh, texture. You know, a 20-year-old might look great in something, and, you know, a 50-year-old looks completely different. So, I am taking all this in consideration. I have prepped my skin thoroughly. So, I want this to, you know, give it a fair chance. Um and but what it says here is that it's 24 hour fresh wear foundation. Uh, I have yet to find one that's 24 hour. Uh, it's a waterproof, heat proof, sweat proof. Uh, it's available in 14 shades. It's $14.99. Um, I have put on all my skincare. I even uh, shaved, you know, for an exfoliation. And now I'm even going to do a couple more steps just to even give this even more <laughs> of a fair review. So I'm um first I'm going to go in with my uh, e.l.f. poreless putty. I'm just going to do it on my nose in the T-zone. And I'm also even going to uh, spray my face here with a uh, hyaluronic acid spray through ColourPop. It's their Pretty Fresh. Like I said, I'm just getting my skin all prepped up for this. <laughs> Now I'm even going to go a step further and go in with my e.l.f. Uh, this is their Cooling Mint Primer. And I put about two pumps on. So my skin is very well hydrated and prepped. Hey, I've let that sit on my face for a few minutes, so it is pretty much dry. Um, there still is a tackiness to it. So I'm actually going to do one side of my face with the applicator that it comes with. It's like a little sponge applicator. And there's a little mirror in here. Um, but here's the applicator. And I'm also going to do the other side with a brush just to see what um, application goes on the easiest and most flawless. And I got the shade True Beige here. But first I'm going to go in and uh, do my concealer since this is a powder foundation. Okay, so I did conceal under my eyes. Like I said, I'm a little nervous to uh, put on this powder foundation, then conceal with liquid. Do this side with the sponge applicator that it came with. Whew, here we go. Okay, so that is one swipe with this sponge. Oh boy, right off the bat, I'm seeing texture like crazy, even from here. Um right along here there's tons i don't know if you can see it but there's tons of uh, texture showing through so um from that swipe i'm not too impressed but like i said i didn't have very high hopes for this um with me having mature dry skin so yeah from here i see the texture but we're just going to keep going and uh see what happens the shade is a little light i think I could have went a little darker, but we can always warm that up with some bronzers and stuff. So, and I do have a blemish here, and that did not cover. I'm just going to try to add a little bit more there. Uh, hmm. Not seeing this big uh, <laughs> full coverage here. <laughs> and where's my brush? It's right in front of me. So now I'm going to try this side with the brush. And I'm just using my e.l.f. Um, foundation brush uh, I will say with the sponge applicator you do get more coverage than with the brush so 
this is what the two sides this is what the sponge applicator and the brush um, I will say the brush side is a little bit more softer um, but you're not going to get the full coverage that it claims it has now again you know on younger skin this may look absolutely flawless and beautiful um, you know it it all depends on a person's skin type and texture and that all goes into play so I am going to even this up I am going to use just a little bit of this and put it on my face just so <laughs> I am a little even so I will say you get more coverage with the sponge applicator okay so let's take a closer look and see what's going on here uh yeah it is showing a lot of texture it's my pores are just screaming here in my nose um this blemish is not even close to being covered i'm going to try to come closer just to see hopefully you guys can see what's going on here um so as you can see my nose yeah it just has all the pores are screaming uh, all this is very textured. I mean, it feels nice on the skin. You know, it feels light. Um, but, whoo, this does not look good on me. <laughs> oh, boy, I just aged about 13 years. Um, so I'm just going to go off, do the rest of my makeup. We'll see what it looks like with makeup, and I'll come back and give you some other thoughts on it. And I applied the rest of my makeup. Um uh, yeah, it's, I'm still having the same feelings. Uh, it also did state that it is non-cakey. Now, when I look in the mirror, it does look very cakey around here. Um, yeah, I, I feel, <laughs> uh, this aged me. I, I, I just feel that I'm going to do one last trick to try to make this look a little better. Um, I'm just going to go in with some setting spray and this is collab from Sally's and see if that calms down the powder um, effect. This has a very nice mister on it. Comes out very evenly and nice. So hopefully this will help. Okay, I'm going to take a look and see if that did help. Oh boy, I'm getting a lot of wrinkles up here. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, it, it really didn't help. And usually um, a setting spray will really help the situation. Um, my sister's coming over today, so I'll get her opinion. Uh, I just want to do a wear test on this as well. It's 11.09. Um, so I will come back in about, you know, seven, eight hours. But I haven't felt or looked this old in <laughs> about a year. So um before my skincare to say the least i'm not enjoying it as of right now maybe throughout the day like i there's been a few foundations that i do like better throughout the day so maybe this will calm down and look better um maybe it's a foundation that i might enjoy more like in the summertime uh, when my face is more oily um as of right now it's a no so but i will be back to give you my final final thoughts So it's been on well over eight and a half hours. But before I do jump into my final thoughts, I do want to put a reminder out there that this pretty vulgar palette is still up for the giveaway uh, that ends Saturday. So um, if you guys are interested in trying to win this palette, all you have to do is go over to that video and in the description box, you know, just push it down and it has all the directions to try to win the palette. And there's not a lot of entries, you guys, so there's a great chance, you know, head over there and possibly win a free palette. So, okay, so let's get into the, my thoughts on this um, foundation. So, again, it's the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour uh, Wear. Uh, it was the powder foundation. Um, okay, so I took a few pictures uh, up in natural light, and I'll be posting that throughout here. So I'm going to move over so I can post them in here um, so you guys can see what it looked like in natural lighting. And the first thing I do want to say, I did wear a mask um, on and off throughout the day, and I just wore it so... This is later in the day where I put on the mask while I was doing my mom's nails. 
And I will say there was no transfer. So that's pretty interesting, especially being on well over, it was seven hours at that point. Um, so there's oils that have to be created and everything. And I put it on and there was no transfer. I also just want to see, I'm going to take this tissue and just kind of pat it all over my face and see what happens at this point. There's no transfer, you guys. There's just a little lipstick that just came off here. Um, I've done zero touch-ups on it. I just applied some more lipstick before it came on here. But, uh, yeah, I've done zero touch-ups. I really haven't even looked at it until now. And the interesting thing is, um, even though it accentuated my lines and texture, it does not settle whatsoever in any of those lines. So, um, yeah, I'm feeling a little confused on this one. I, I really am. I'm, I'm stumped. Um, because I did ask my sister. She came over. She didn't say anything right away. Um, we ate and everything. And I finally said, is there something different about me? And she goes, you know, she's looking. And she goes, no. And I go, you know, she's trying to figure it out. And I said... Well, I, I'm testing a foundation, and she goes, well, I did think it was a little lighter, so the, the shade is off, obviously. Um, but she didn't notice any accentuated texture, or she didn't think, wow, you know, you, your wrinkles are really showing, um, until I brought it to her attention, and we moved into the natural light, and she really looked. Um, so I guess with social distancing, uh, the six you know, foot away from each other is going to help on that. Um, if somebody got really close, they would see what's going on. So yeah, I'm really confused. Um, I really don't even know what to say. I don't, I did not enjoy when I put it on and just seeing all of my texture and lines come out to play. And, uh, but now I'm, I'm confused and I think this is going to be a really interesting um, foundation for summer because I do I'm one of those people who just <laughs> perspire like mad you know and our humidity in Michigan is ridiculous sometimes so this may come in handy uh, in the summertime for me um, now for anyone that has you know smooth skin um, more oils to their face this might really work well with them um but i will say and you'll see in the pictures it does photograph very nice i did already do some editing and it does you know film well um so yeah you guys you guys you know give me your thoughts too i'm going to come a little closer as i always do just so you can see a close-up here to see how it looks on my face so as you can see up here, it is not settled, even in here, which is usually the, the case. It settles really bad or breaks apart there, and it did not. The only place where I did see breaking apart is my nose. Um, the pores are still, hey, I'm out here. Um, and right along the chin line is, um, it did separate or, but it did it gracefully. I mean, it doesn't look really bad and it's not again it's not very noticeable unless you come very close to me so yeah my final thoughts are i'm torn i'm i'm torn so okay you guys well hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully it was informative and gave you a little lead way if you were weighing uh towards your purchasing this or not um it's 14.99 it's not outrageously priced so um, it may work. I mean, um, again, I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to keep it and I'm going to try to use it when our climate is not so dry and I'm not running the heat so much. Okay, you guys, thank you so much again. And again, try to get in that give giveaway because that will end on Saturday. All right, you guys, until next time. Love you.